Hello, my legion of little goblins. This is Gamer Dragon. Welcome back to Let's Play A Shadows Over Loathing. And when we ended, we arrived at this house. It also says board. What the hell? Paint this. There. Better. This quaint and well-maintained farmhouse appears to be the only settled farmstead in the area. It must be lonely with no neighbors to meet or sugar to borrow. Those with neighbors know they can't go five minutes without asking each other for a cup of sugar. It is one of the main things they do. Just trading the same sugar back and forth, never gaining anything. Not. A voice muffled and gruff set out the back. Who is that there? Uh, it's Belinda? Eh? Eh? I can't hear you over the rain! Just go in. Oh, this does not look ominous at all. The old farmer is tanned and calloused all over from either a lifetime of farm work or a fall into the vat at, at the leather factory. Look at you! You're stuck to the bone from the rain! Quick, you must make yourself warm. There's hot spaghetti on the stove and towels in my wardrobe. Thanks, I'm Belinda, by the way. Everyone calls me Borge. You are welcome under my roof, Belinda, and to share earn my food and warmth. But I have one rule way which you much must abide. Okie day. You must not look at my daughter. Why not? This isn't for you to question. I simply tell you, you must not look at my daughter. Okay, fine, I won't. <laughs> oh, fuck me. You want about the strand and you brought the strand up in a tight ball all and put it in a shallow dish. Body frame of the farmer's starch, which is in your peripheral. Don't look at her. Channel is on a bookshelf. Elf is a recipe for disaster. Coincidentally, the title of one of the cookbooks is Recipes for Disaster Scenarios. Are you kidding me? Ah, well, now you can see why the farmer would have that rule. Huh. Like, what the fuck? I didn't... Mm. This room stays highly localized. Let's go where it ain't. Near an old barn, you encounter a motorcycle carved out of stone. It's so cool. Hang out with it. You chat with the stone motorcycle for a while. It gives you some grooming tips and even shares some of its hair gel with you. What? Um. Let's see, who wanted the thing? Oh, no, not yet. It was you. Oh, no, not you. Been by the Mulross place yet? I don't need the whole meteorite, by the way. I am no space hog. Just ask you for a little piece. Got it here. Humbling, ain't it? To hold all the soil of heaven in your hand? Now, you heard me say yeah, I was a space hog and I stick by it. A little piece is all I need. She tears off a chunk of the meteorite with her teeth and hands it back to you. Did that hurt? Worth it. After spitting out a tooth. By 
the way, how are you with puzzle boxes? I just solved this one myself and now I reckon there's not a jail on earth that can hold me. My way, saying thanks. You're welcome. Alright, we still have to deal with the Drexelstead. Do you forgot about you? Oh, I need this. Sadly, it doesn't contain a portal to a magical world of fantasy. I guess you could cut a hole in the back, then at least it would contain a portal to a magical world of corn. Does contain what it does contain is an assortment of tra um, church clothes for, all for a small boy. Nothing in here in your size or domination. Range corn looks like an ice cream cup, but the label makes a slightly different claim. Hi there, I'm Mike Freeman, the ice or er, the corn corn man. That sure doesn't run off the tongue the way it used to. You're selling creamed corn out of an ice cream truck. Yeah, well, if I had some ice, I could sell you some ice cream. If I had some cream. Say, so you seem like a lady who doesn't have an expensive truck to keep. Keep an eye on and is free to come and go as she pleases. If you could do me a couple favors, I'd appreciate it. I need cream, and a lot of it. Like a barrel of it. Plus... A part to make my freezer work in. What part? I don't know. I'm not really the. Uh, I'm not a real mechanically mad guy. It's just the thingy that makes the inside of a box cold. Okay, I'll keep an eye out. Oh, I have a freezer coil, refrigeration coil. I think this might be the part you're looking for. Hey, yeah, that looks familiar. Thanks, buddy. Give me a minute, a second to hammer this in and change my sign. Iced corn. Well, Paul oh, Stev, what is this? Is this stock of evil corn the cause of the, this malevolent maze? Or is it just the other way around? Or is this all just a coincidence? Perhaps we'll never know. Oh well. A box full of disused, disregarded, and slowly disintegrating toys. Jeez, how long have these been here? Well, let's take the teddy bear. That's a very large crow. A sullen milkman, finally! Hi there, are you the a milkman? <sighs> yes, milkman Stan, that's me. Will you sell me some milk? Sure, sure, they don't call me Milkman Stan on account of not selling milk. The hell? It's 3,000 meat per barrel? Are you joking? It's the only milk in the maze. Geographical Monopoly. I have smaller quantities available if you're experiencing a cash sort or fall at the moment. What the fuck? Okay, I think I need this. What a rude asshole. Okay. 
Okay. Apparently I needed a saucer. I don't want to be in here. I don't want to talk about it. Why so glum? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. None of the others will listen to me complain anymore. Uh, for starters, it's extremely boring here, and I don't have anything to read except my sign. Yeah, that sounds pretty bad. But let me tell you, after a first couple times, the twist at the end really loses its thrill. What? And you know what's even worse? It's not. I'm allergic to cur corn. If I eat even a single kernel, my face swells up like a frog on a bicycle pump. Oh jeez, then what have you been eating? Just the leaves and husks. On the bright side, I bet I've got uh, the cleanest colon in the Tri-County area. Uh. And there's the weather! Can you believe this weather? It seems fine. It never changes. It's just this gray, slightly chilly nothing. Always. I don't understand how the crony would grow here. It never rains. Wouldn't it be worse if it was raining? It would be novel, at least. I guess there's that. And then I have to deal with some cat running around. It got my bow tie while I was sleeping and totally shredded it. I lo look like some kind of degenerate. That's a shame. I can't even try to catch it and eat it because I'm also allergic to cat meat. What? Oh, and there's a crazy dentist who hangs out on the other side of the cornfield. He keeps trying to talk to me about calcium. I tried to tell her, lady, I just sell milk. I don't know anything about the chemical properties of calcium and in relation to teeth and bones. Uh, she's probably started, trying to start a conversation because she's lonely. Yeah, lonely like a fox. I've seen the way she looks at my teeth. Well, I... And the worst thing. You wanna know what the worst thing is? Sure, I've got corns. Uh... Corns! Like the kind you get on your feet. Little painful wads of callus. Not only are they painful and annoying, I'm just constantly being taunted by how on the nose it is. Anyway, thanks for listening. I don't meet a lot of new people as you can imagine. Don't mention it. Well, for one, he clearly needs a new bow tie. I hope the crow's friendly. Crows are usually very wary around humans, not because they're high, strong, or cowardly, but because they're very intelligent. That is fair. They're aware of the fact that their bones are thin and hollow and that humans are much bigger than they are. This crow knows what it means for the tables to be turned. It spreads its wings in an intimidating display and makes it sound like a rusty garage door that had a baby with a burst of radio static. Ow. Ow. Um, well, make friends with it. Well, that's not outside the realm of possibility. Lots of people make friends with crows, primarily by feeding them. This crow lives on, on a possibly infinite dimension warped cornfield, though. And from the looks of him, he's taking full advantage of that situation. So it's probably a non starter unless you've got something that's much better than ordinary corn. I have a lot of things better than ordinary corn, but guess not. Slowly back away until the crow decides it doesn't need to pay attention to you anymore. What? How do I not have anything that the crow would be interested in? Like, look at this engagement ring. A fancy diamond engagement ring you found. Clara from Henry Mayor Bond be thicker than blood, which is pretty creepy and all be, and also maybe has weird familial implications. It seems like maybe Henry didn't think this out very carefully. And not... How have I not found a letter opener yet? I 
Look, I got some pretty jewels. And Bird does not want them. There's looking man. Okay. Ex Ten hut name rank and serial number. Uh, Belinda scale, fa fair to middling, and um, six. Likely story. How do I know you aren't a spy? Spy for who? Froze. You know damn well who I mean. Those dirty blues. Blues. God. Sarge? Is that you? Blues? Are you talking about the Blue Cola Army? You're damn right I am. I won't stand for any of their filthy espionage tactics. Sir, the Cola Wars ended almost a full decade ago. Oh. Oh yes. That's true. Hmm. Excuse me. Something about this place makes it easy to forget. Eddie's major address me as Colonel ben and Benedetto. What kind of name is Benedetto? Nice to meet you, Colonel. What's up with all this weird spiky black horn? We refer to it as maze. Right? Yeah, of course you do. Our investigation into its nature have proven so, uh, so far proven inconclusive. Do you mean inconclusive? No, I do not. No sense of humor to be found here. <laughs> so, why don't you just leave? You think we haven't tried? This base twists upon itself and warps the senses in a way that makes escape impossible. I don't seem to have any trouble coming and going. How did you get in here in the first place? I saw a weird house next to a fort and field and just sort of walked in. Aha! You weren't banished here. Therefore, the maze has no motivation to keep you here. Banished? Hm. Said too much already. You could just tell me the fucking truth, asshole! So, uh, how are things? By things, I presume you are referring to troop morale. You have troops here? Certainly. The milkman and the dentist and the ice cream man and the uh, little girl? You don't count Cornelius? A hobo? He's a hobo. He might leave at any time. He can't be relied on as a soldier. Those people aren't- Yes, yes, I know they aren't soldiers. I know that. Hey, yeah, how's their morale? Right now- Well, right now I'd rate it at 1 out of 10. Pathetic, frankly. If the Blues attacked us now, we'd be rooted for sure. So how'd you get in here? That information is strictly on a need-to-know basis, soldier. You don't have clearance. Come on, Colonel. No, this isn't a military operation. No, I suppose not. Nevertheless, I'm not at liberty to si discuss it. Loose lips sink ships. What ships? Can you just leave me again? Oh, I should get the milkman. The what? The one got one of these people, a hobo, to leave. Oh wait, I did got did go to the to the corner here. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. Okay. Well, that's a shame. I heard a rumor that the king of the hobos really loves corn. I mean, it's just a rumor, but they say he loves corn so much he might choose his air based on who brings it. It's the most corn to the camp. I mean, I could be corn prince? Maybe. Is that a pun? 
Nearly? Well, I'm sold. Okay. Oh, supposedly I have to get, like, something from the AC units on top of the SIT. How do I get to the top of the, f the building? Huh, I've never been here before. There we go. Um, guess I'm doing something wrong here. Jump about this place. Everybody's been really appreciative about my corn and my cooking skills. This I was being selfish before. It does feel good to share and help folks out. Well, that's great. So you've been doing a lot of cooking? Yep. Been making a lot of corn meals out of cornmeal. So what's cooking? Okay. Tried a few different things, but everyone liked my cornbread best. So mainly just cornbread. Here, let me get cut you a piece and th as thanks for helping out. Oh wow. Nice. Four little elven creatures step off the side of the road and encircle you in a slow jams. It's horrible. Just awful the way they move. You don't like it. But you can't help but watch. It's hypnotic. You think you could watch these things dance for the rest of your life. Shake off the spell. Stop it. Okay, let's... See how that crow is interested... Oh, right. I forgot about you. Found your teddy bear. Oh, yes, that's Sister Grizzles. Jeez, what's kind of musty? 
for Mr. Grizzles. How long has it been? Ice cream. There's nothing here to eat except corn. I used to like corn, now it's just corn. Friends with it, give him your cornbread. Toss the square of cornbread at the giant crow, who snaps it out of the air and swallows it whole. His eyes go wide, and he does the in a ecstatic little dance for a moment. He plucks a large feather from his wing, tosses it towards you, and flies away with a large caw. Neat. A massive can of cocktail onions is the sole occupant of this little th area. Now I'm supposed to show this feather to the scarecrow. Brandish the crow feather. Better watch it out, buddy. I have friends in high places who can't get my drift. Scarecrow looks at the feather and makes a, a mental calculation. So clearly it doesn't isn't like the answer it gets as it dies into the rows of corns and, and beats any hasty retreat. Woman in surgical gloves gaze lost in the depths of the maze. Oh, hello, I'm Dr. Sarah. Do you have an appointment? I didn't know I needed one to be in a cornfield. What are you doing out here? Oh, gentle, general dentistry, cleans, implants, etc. I mean, what are you doing in a cornfield? Huh, now that you mentioned, I don't really remember. Can you uh, doctor this for me? I'm not really that kind of doctor. Oh, okay. I could dentist it for you if it's all the same. Dentist the evidence? I've only practiced on models in sco at school, but sure. Okay, that sounds fine. Well, the other thing is I'm not confident in my clinical skills these days. Me as my clinical clinic is basically a mysterious and lonely cornfield. Hmm. You don't look happy. I don't get to see many patients in this cornfield, you know. I'm worried my wet finger will get is getting rusty. But what now? What finger? Oh, sorry. That's what we dentists call the finger that we poke around in your mouth. Because of how it gets wet. Suddenly, I don't feel very well. Do you need some dental work, Mike? Would you mind if I did some? It's only for practice. Sure, okay. Okay. Picture your white mouth as wide as it can go, and then multiply that by ten, and that's what I want. Huh? You struggle and straight. You struggle and strain to accommodate her long rubber glove fingers as they make th thorough prodding investigations of the back of your molars. You have beautiful teeth. I'm just gonna make a few. I'm just going to suggest a few changes. There we go. All finished. Ow! Do you have a mirror? A what? I'm not happy with my teeth situation. My moxie is ruined. No, and if I'm candid, I know it's not my best work. Would you give me a chance to put it right? Fine, give it a try. You won't be sorry. Oof, does that- wait. Okay, well, never mind what I said a second ago. What? I want my teeth back. I want- I'm ma uh, eef back. I appreciate you bearing with me. I don't like to leave a job unfinished. I always say, if it were up to me, we wouldn't call it dentistry. We call it dentistro. Jeez. 
What do you mean by no stuff in it? Yes, the answer to that question I think you're asking is please. Dr. Sir asks you to go ah, which is about all you can and while your mouth is hanging open, she rummages around for something in her purse. Oh thank goodness! Imagine if I had just thrown them away. You got perfect teeth, which is a good which gives you more moxie. You know, let's let's say that's enough practice per day. I agree one hundred percent. You still don't look very happy. I'm just thinking that your average patient is more at ease having treatment in a month modern dental surgery than a labyrinthine in a cornfield. Yeah, I could say that would is a problem for me for sure. I'd like my a little patch here to feel more like a dentist office. It's missing something that says dentist. A sign? What? A sign that says dentist? I'm speaking more metaphorically than that, but if you happen to find one, sure. I but no, I guess again. Teeth? Teeth, that's it precisely. I don't feel more comfortable with a lot more teeth around. Do you mind looking out for an a an anatomical teeth bottle or anything that else that looks like teeth besides corn. I have plenty of that. I'll see what I can do. What's in here? A single kernel of corn. Maybe if I fish enough corn. Okay, I'll stop. There's a... There's a black cat in this maze somewhere. I think I saw your cat. Really? I didn't know he was in here. Poor ghost. Bet he'd find me if I said I was saucer of milk. I happen to have one. Oh, thank you. Looks he's a little vintage. Yeah, well it's probably fine. She sets the saucer down after a little while. Bill, the corn stalks rustle, and the cat you saw before appears with an inquisitive meow. Oh, ghost, it is you! I missed you so much! Thank you, lady. I bet I would never- I never would have found him without your help. And him now? You give ghosts a thorough belly scratch and scratch behind the ears. Happy kitties. I needed one more thing from her, for her, but I don't know how I'm gonna get it. All right. getting for this guy. Nothing here.
right? Thank you for your patron. All right, I got the barrel of of milk. Hopefully, this is what the ice cream guy get needs. Give him some milk. Milk, eh? Nice. That'll be the nearest thing to cream I've cut tried yet. Thanks. We change the sign here, and I'll be right back with you. Sure thing. Creamed ice. Wait, creamed ice? Yeah, it turns out there's more to making ice cream than just ice and cream. And I don't have equipment for it, but I got pretty close, I think. Okay. Creamed ice. Reaches you that the folk in this land are in need of a horse whisperer. Specifically, someone to whisper to at this particular horse named Jeff to stop eating horse blood. Because it's making the farmers uncomfortable. Be the horse whisperer. You stroke Jeff's mane and whisper, Come on, man, in his ear. Jeff not uds and agrees to switch to a plant based diet. Good! Yes, here it is. Oh, darling, I knew I could count on you. Let me give you a real reward. She stands up, plants a slow kiss on your cheek, then chuckles it as you feel yourself start to blush. Now I could really use a drink. Huh? What about the milk? Oh, I mean a real drink. Make the meals for later. Thanks again, sweetheart. Oh, it's nothing. Alright, where are we now? Okay, I think I've helped everyone here. What's our mission status, Jasper? Iola says she's ready to deal with the gra with the guard out front. Wendellin's all set to spring the gate. Zenny is armed and dangerous. Well, only a little more dangerous than usual, I guess. Oskaloosa is confident that she could get us into the inner sanctum. Rivers got Big Betty ready to blow. Farina says the getaway car is good to go. I guess if we're as ready as we'll ever, we're ever gonna be. Okay, let's do this. All right then, here goes nothing. I think you mean here goes everything. You kids and your enthusiasm. Don't get so fired up you bring yourself out. Okay. Wait, what am I doing now? What? Oh, Jester pulled off his eyes at oil at the oil baron's refinery in Grey County. Okay. Oh, let's sit. Sashi's up to the guard holding a glass of milk. Oh, hello, handsome. Can up and notice all the hard work you're doing, keeping this place safe from intruders. I will, well, that's just my job. Yes, ma'am. And you're doing such a good to job, too, darling. 
I was just saying to myself, if there's a handsome young man who must be so thirsty after wa all that walking, I simply must bring him a little pick-me-up. Oh, that's very kind of you. I could use a glass of milk. Guard drinks the milk and instantly passes out. Ella shoots you a wink as she strolls back to the car. Go get him, Tiger. When Dolan has removed a panel from the front of the control box, revealing a mass of gears and cogs packed with grease. Give me a hand with this, would ya? Is this- is it going to have all, all the fingers still on afterwards? Yeah, no worries, kids. This little kid's mom I've been tinkering with is gonna, gonna do all the heavy lifting. I just need to hold- need to hold the panel on open for me. Okay. Wendell and shoot lots his little gadget into the control box and casually flips a switch on the back. It makes a little whirring sound, which begins a loud whirring sound as it engages the control gears and the gate slides open. Nice. Search this. From the memos and for so forth, you gather that this is Baron Hellstrom's personal desk. Pretty much all that is it's in it is a biz is business related pa papers. Oh, except for a weird little leather pouch. Take that. big safe. The keys in there are, are must be real important. Check it out. Luskalusa pulls out her meteor shard and carefully rotates it into just the right position to create a space to cre space to create a small wormhole. Okay. The other side of that wormhole should be inside the safe. I just need you to reach through and unlock it from the inside. That's safe. Can't you do it yourself? I've told the shard in just the right position so the hole doesn't close and slice your arm off. So, no, th it isn't safe. But also, no, I can't do it myself. Fine! You reach through and jiggle bits of the safe mechanism until you hear the latch click open. Then you pull your arm out of the hole with a relief. Phew! The safe opens to reveal a single key inside, which makes the key word keys on the outside a real exaggeration. And now that you've grabbed that key, it's just a lie. Right, that's my bit done. I'm heading back to the car. Good luck! What's next? Jesper gives you a quizzical look, as though he's afraid he accidentally included a child in his eyes. We unlock this door and go to the bunker. Oh, Jesus, this is this a bomb? It, yep. Ain't she a beauty? She's big as heck. Oh, don't worry. It's a shape charge. Pretty much all the blast force is gonna go straight into that wall. Pretty much. Are you planning on st you planning on staying right next to it? I recommend that in any case. Go ahead and light the fuse whenever you're ready. Uh That doesn't look right. It's that guy from your dream. He doesn't look like he wants to be interrupted. Well, interrupt him. Who in tarnation are you? You go out at the end of the sentence before I kill you, deader than most people are aware or it's possible, girl. Fuck it! Let's fight this asshole! Shadowy creatures go less out of the air around him as you approach. Ah, shit. Okay, we're gonna need... This. This. Go 
of anything that's going to hurt people. Well, that did nothing. Mistakes have been made, I suspect. Watch up, we need you to heal. Battle might not go well. Ah! Ow! What? Ow! No, I apply it to me, you idiot! I want to get rid of this big guy, so let's drop this! Oh shit, stab this guy four, five times! And he's dead! What? Eat that capitalism! Hey Jasper, what do we do with the big central machine thing? Jasper strides up and rolls a big monkey branch into the side of the machinery, which explode which immediately starts exploding. Sometimes the traditional way is their best. Come on, we gotta get out of here before this whole place goes up. Red powder on all the machine blows off, and what looks like an old farmer's sickle flies out of it and clatters on the floor. We quickly pick it up. Oh shit! Uh, yeah! Fuck out of here! Well, everybody, that went better than I could have ever expected. Just goes to show the old crew still has some life in it after all. Although, clearly, I gotta hand it out to our new member, Belinda. We couldn't have done it without you, Caleb. Ah, uh, shucks, it was nothing. Not nonsense. You deserve what? One hell of a reward. Ooh, cool. Well, for what you did for today. Unfortunately, most of our money is tied up in savings bonds, so you'll have to settle for my cool shades. Ooh, thanks! Now it's time for us to get back to our retirement. I got a shuffleboard game in, in 20 minutes. See you all around! Ella gives you a big hug and everyone leaves with a wave. Bye! Let's do it again some time! <laughs> well, 
I don't know what to do now, aside from side quests. All right. Well, I'm gonna be spending the next several hours looking for the t anatomical teeth. So I'm just gonna end it here for today. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification icon, and share this video with someone who might enjoy the series. I'm Gamer Dragon, and I'll see you tomorrow.